Hi hey guys, uh, here's another one. I've got a PS4 that will not read um, games. Let me just show you here. Let's pop this CD in. As you can see in the back, it's nice and clean. And the software on the PS4 is up to date. So I'll just pop that CD in here. And you can hear it trying to run. Go to the monitor. You can see little disc on the top right here where it's trying to find the CD trying to read the disc just um, pinpointing that for you there and after repeated attempts this is what you get unrecognized disc error and then a message which states that um, it cannot read the disc it might be dirty or damaged which it is not So first thing we're going to dismantle the unit, uh, remove the power supply and um, it's just a case of popping up the front on this PS4 Slim and you can see the dust inside already. Um, it actually, this video is actually about repairing the um, not reading CD disc but uh, we'll be giving it clean also. So this, um, I've highlighted some screws here which you need to remove move four on the power supply and you got about 11 screws on the top cover here which we need to remove and then underneath this metal cover tucks underneath the power supply so you can see me lifting it here it actually tucks just under the power supply at the back so i've just lifted that out there and as you can see there's a lot of dust in here, what is sucked in around the uh, cooling fan. Um, this is why the um, device was noisy because you can see um, the fan is full of um, dust as well as the thermal cooler. So it's just a matter of um, giving it a clean. I've got the uh, Henry Hoover out and the paintbrush and I'm just going to give it a get rid of all of this dust what you can see here be careful with this fan it's a little bit brittle don't want to break it so as you, here you can see me here I'm just trying to get rid of all the dust and then I'm just going to use a wet wipe just to get the some of the stubborn bits and then uh, just finish off with a vacuum once again And now that that's done, that's the cleaning part out of the way. Let's give you a look at what the unit looked before when I took the cover off. And this is what it looks like now after it's had the clean. So then we're moving on to the actual CD-ROM itself, the actual fix where it won't read CDs. So um, I pl plug the power supply back in and um, just got to take the CD out, I left it in, I should have removed it. So as you can see here, on the back of the CD, it's nice and clean. No scratches, no fingerprints. So I'll just demo once again. But when you pop the CD in, you can actually hear it trying to run. It's trying to spin, but for some reason um, it's not being read, so it can't spin up to the um, appropriate speed. So what I'm going to do is take the CD out and remove the power supply from the back. And let me just show you here, I'll just show you the laser. The laser inside here, just highlight that for you. Little glass um, laser which reads CDs. That's the lens there, I'm going to give that a clean. So it's just a case of, um, I'm going to use a cotton bud and uh, just get it damp and then wipe it off get it wet and then wipe it off on a bit of cloth get rid of most of the water and you can see the lens in there just wants to clean be very careful uh, once cleaning this because you don't want to damage the lens you just want to wipe it lightly 
as you can see here. Give it a nice clean there. Don't press too hard or you damage the lens. And then now that I've done that, I'm just gonna pop the power cord back in and give it a try. And uh, just twist the unit on. And then it's just a case of popping a CD back in. There's blue marks on there. It's just the light. It's not actually on the disc itself. So I'm just going to pop the CD in. And as you can see here, it's powering up now, it's running. It's not hesitating like before, it's actually running at a decent speed. So that sounds like a good fix. If you, okay, there you get the sound of that. That's what it should sound like when it's actually reading the disc. That sounds fine, so what I'll do is um, just pop the disc back out. And uh, now that that's done, I'm going to reassemble the unit uh, lively. Just a reversal before, but obviously slightly quicker. And then just pop the lid back on, no screws. And then I'm just going to plug the power supply and the HDMI back in, in the back and try it. And straight away you can see there it's found the CD, Modern Warfare. I'm just going to download the software. And here you see it's all fully up and running. Thanks for watching once again and uh, please subscribe.